you, David Cardia, Stevie Rooney here. Um, today I'm going to take a training session and um, basic skills for field and football. So what you need is you need your hurl, obviously. You need a couple of slitters. Um, if you only got one slitter, that's grand. And you need a couple of cones. If you don't have cones, you can use anything in the house. You can use water bottles. You can use anything. So just get your hands on something. So first of all, what I've done, I've out four cones. And I'm going to go through a basic warm up. So all you got to do is just follow me. First of all, just keep your heart in your hand the whole time. And you're just going to do star jumps. Up, touch your feet. Star jumps, do 10 reps. Once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to start at the back of the cone. And you're going to run forward to the front. And you're going to run back continuously. Stop. Next of all, you're just going to move to your left onto the first cone. What you're going to do is you're going to go backwards around the cones, each cones. Let's go. Once you get back to the start, you're going to change direction, go the opposite way. You're back to the start this time. We're going to do the same thing except you're running straight. So reach runs forward. This time is what we're going to do is open up the shoulders. What you're going to do is just stand and strike the ground. You don't need a ball, just strike, strike the ground. Keep moving your feet. Keep moving your feet. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do just some simple stretches. So you know what to do. You lean on your hurl and you're going to kick your legs for 10 reps. So 10 leg swings. Once you've done 10, get you inside and you swing for another 10. Nice and easy. So this time you're going to start at the back, the cones in the middle. And what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle side to side. And you're going to touch the cones. So do this for 30 seconds. Touch the cones. Make sure to change your hands. You're going to shuffle. Stand up, this time you're going to move forward. And what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle across, same as that. You touch, you go back, you touch, go forward, you shuffle across, touch, back, the same thing. You keep going for 30 seconds. Speed the strike up, just get the wrist going, shoulders moving. And down. So the first skill we're gonna to learn today is a roll lift. So it's just basic steps you have to do to take a roll lift. If you just stand over the top of the ball, we're going to use our thumbs down the hurl. What we're going to do is we're going to step over the ball and we're going to roll lift the ball with two hands. You roll the ball and into the hand. If you know how to do that, then very well. You can move on to a one-handed roll, get over the ball and take it. If not, you're starting off, two hands, pick the ball. 
in the hand. So what we're going to do is, because it's a very basic drill, what we're going to do is we're going to do 30 seconds. We're going to see how many you can do in 30 seconds. So what you want to do is you want to start off slow. You don't want to go too quick and mess it up. Or the ball runs away. You want to keep the ball controlled at your feet. And for 30 seconds, what we're going to do is try and roll lift as many as we can. Just try and set yourself a target and do as many as you can. Okay, so three, two, one, go. So now that you've done that, 30 seconds, you can get a drink, you can rest, you can stand up, you can stretch, you can stretch, go back out, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to do a one-handed row lift. If you're not comfortable doing a one-handed row lift, you can continue to do two. So what we're going to do is take a bit of a breath, and then we're going to go back in and do another 30 seconds. What you're going to try and do is you're going to try and beat the previous 30 seconds. Okay, so we're ready. Three, two, one, go. Time. So there's two ways of row lifting. Very simple, but there's just two hands in the stick. There's one hand in the stick. Don't progress onto one hand until you get the two hands perfected. So the next job we're going to do is we're going to use our square again. And what we're going to do is incorporate a bit of movement this time. So before we're standing over the top of the ball and we weren't moving, this time we're going to start moving our feet. So for 30 seconds again, this isn't you have to count. All you got to do is just try and execute the skill. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to start. To Back of the square, you're going to roll the ball forward. And for 30 seconds, what you're going to do is you're going to pick the ball, you're going to roll it out. You're going to pick the ball, you're going to roll it out, and just move around the square for 30 seconds and pick the ball up as best you can. Remember, two hands or one hand. For 30 seconds, you're going to move around the square. Make sure you keep the ball inside the square. Okay, so three, two, one, let's go. Time. So now we've started moving over the ball. So what we need to remember when we start moving over the ball is we don't want to pick the ball out like this with a long stick or like this. What we need to do is when the ball's there, we can get our body over the ball so we're protecting the ball and for people playing the ball away from you. So just remember, get down over the ball nice and strong, get over the ball and pick it. Two hands or one hands. This time. We're going to remove a cone. And we're going to place this cone in the middle of these two. And we're going to place the ball at the front cone. And we're going to place the ball at one of the other cones. What we're going to do is get us thinking. So when we pick a ball, at the front cone, we pick the ball up, get it into our hand, and we're going to move with the ball in our hand. We're going to set it down. Then we go to the other cone, does have the ball. We're going to repeat, constantly moving. So for 30 seconds, we're going to do that. So when you pick a ball up, you have to go to the cone without the ball. 30 seconds, three, two, one, let's go.
time. This is what we're going to do now. I just want to add in one of the removed. Get a drink, remember stretch, stand up nice and tall. Your lower back might be getting a bit tight because you're bending over picking the ball. So it's getting a bit tight, a bit stretch, touch your toes, stand up nice and tall. So remember, even if you're getting tired, what you need to do is you get your body over the ball and protect it, especially if you're tired. Over the ball, protect it. Let's get ready. Start at the back. I'm gonna have to go to the comb without the ball. Let's go. You have to think. Where are you going? Time. It's good. So what you have to remember is use your thumbs, two hands, the more confidence you get, you can go into one hand and protect the ball. What we incorporated there was when you get the ball in your hand, you started to move. So it's only about four steps to the other cone. That's what you want to do. You want to be able to pick the ball up, regain possession, and take your four steps and move. That's drill one. Okay, for the second drill, what we're going to do is we concentrated firstly on the jab or the row lift. Now we're going to move on to the jab lift. Okay, so exact same thing. Thumbs down the hurl, get the same position over the ball. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a scooping motion, you're going to scoop a ball up and gain possession. So if you haven't done it before, what we're going to do is we're just going to demonstrate it. Ball's on the ground, body over the ball, and scoop into the hand. But just remember, it's actually in position. You're over the top of the ball, your thumbs are pointing down the hurl, and you're just gonna scoop the ball into your hand. Okay, so if you had a couple of goals of that, and you've perfected it with two hands, same again, you can move on to one hand. So now you can start to use this hand to hold off other, other men, other players, and you can scoop the ball into your hand. Exact same, do a couple of tries, get possession of the ball, stand over the ball, Scoop the ball in your hand. What we're going to do is the exact same thing as the jab lift. We've got our four combs set out, and what we're going to do is we're going to move around and we're going to jab lift the ball 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. So that was two hands on the stick, every ball was into the hand, so take a couple of seconds rest, then we're going to go in and try a one-handed dip. So if, only if you feel confident, you can start picking the ball with one hand and use your other hand to hold people off. Okay, just get your breath. So 30 seconds again, 30 seconds. So three, two, one, let's go.
Damn. So what we've done there is use the cone again, tight space, and pick the ball and got possession. So only when you feel confident, you can move on to a one-handed lift. This time, this time what we're going to do is we're going to start moving on to the balls. So we'll have two balls. We have one on this side of the cones and one on that side of the cones. And all we're going to do is continuously go for 30 seconds and we're going to start to move on to the ball. So the exact same thing when you're running and you push the ball, your two hands over the, over the ball, two hands, you're running through, you're nice and strong and you scoop the ball into your hand and gain possession. So again, 30 seconds, we're going to work. Get your breath. Three, two, one. Let's go. So catch the ball. You want to drop it. You're gonna come around. Pick this ball. Drop it. So continuous. You can change it up as long as you keep the ball on either side. Doesn't matter what way you pick it. Time. 30 seconds. That was two hands. We're going to progress it. You're going to start moving on to the ball and you're going to pick with one hand if you're confident. So take a break, get a drink, get your breath back. Remember your back sore. Stand up tall, open up your back. Time. You know, we started, started moving towards the ball. We started to get the heart rate up, started making mistakes. So it's key that you get the body over the ball and you raise it and you check the ball into your hand before you worry about striking or anything else. So this time, if you have a wall or if you have a partner, you can use them. So what we're going to do is, I don't have a solid wall, so I'm going to use a partner. So what I'm going to do is, if you ask your partner, or if you have a wall, and you set it up maybe about five steps past the ball, and what you're going to do is, you want to start on this line, and you're going to start off by jogging, you're going to lift the ball, and then what you're going to do is, you're going to hand pass the ball. So this is progression again. We started with you're standing over the ball, you're picking it. Then we started just moving around, picking the ball, dropping it. And now we want to pick the ball and do something with it. So what we're going to do is start here on the first cones. We're going to run. We're going to jab lift the ball. We're going to make sure we get into your hands. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hand pass the ball. So when we're hand passing the ball, we need to make sure we take our steps, we lift the ball, take a couple of steps, and you're going to get your head up and you're going to hand pass the ball. So when you're hand passing the ball, you need to use your, your palm of your hand to force the ball forward. So a simple hand pass is like that. So try your best, give it a go. Use two hands to start off with. If you feel comfortable with one, you can start using one. So remember when you get the ball, take a couple of steps and hand pass the ball. So 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go.
about 30 seconds. So what we're going to do now is have two hands for 30. So now we're going to get the ball and we're going to run. We're going to jab lift the ball with one hand. Only if you're ready for it, kick the ball, get possession and hand pass the ball to your partner. Or if you have a wall, you just hand pass it against the wall. Whatever suits you better. If you're ready, stretch, get a drink of water if you can. Three, two, one, go. So that's something you can work on. Just make sure as you hit over the ball, use your thumbs, you do the basics first before you move on to anything a bit harder. Just always try, do a couple, stand still, and then you can start moving on to the ball. And then once you start moving on to the ball, you can start doing stuff with it. Well done, that's drill two. So for the third skill we're gonna do is just basic striking. So what we're gonna do is, if you have a wall, you can use a wall. If not, you can use a partner. So I don't have a wall, so I'm gonna use a partner. And all the partner has to do is catch the ball, strike it back, or throw the ball back to you, so you can get the, the ball back. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start by just simple strike. So what we're gonna do is, when we're striking off our right hand side, we need to point our shoulder towards the man, and we're gonna strike the ball. So that means you need to move your feet, striking off your left, shoulder towards your man, strike, try not to stand directly facing, and striking like that. Learn to move your feet, so you're pointing your shoulder constantly towards the man for better accuracy. So what we're going to do is for a minute, for one minute, we're going to do a simple striking drill where the guy's going to hit the ball back as if he's acting like a wall. We're going to start for one minute, three, two, one, go. So that's the first minute up. So you notice sometimes I'm leaning back to strike the ball. Always try and step forward. Drive the shoulder forward when you're striking the ball. Drive the shoulder forward. Try not to lean back. So it's very easy. You can stand up against the side of the wall of the house. You can stand with your partner, younger brother or sister, and you hit the ball to them. And you're constantly just trying to get the strike into their hand. Just try and do the basics with your feet. Aim your shoulder off your left, off your right. If you're struggling to hit the ball off your weaker side, as you start to practice off the wall and get your body positioning right, try and replicate what you do on your right or your left, vice versa. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start implementing the move. So we're going to use the cones. And when you use the cones, you're going to, when you have the ball in your hand, you're going to shuffle to your right and strike, catch the ball, shuffle to your left, to the other cone, left and right, and strike the ball back to your partner. So you're going to be the person that's working. So the person opposite me is just acting as if they're a wall. And they're going to play the ball back to me in the middle. So for one minute, if you need to stretch again, get a drink of water, you can. So what 
what we're going to do is in a couple of 10 seconds, we're going to start and you're going to replicate exactly what you're doing. Point your shoulder towards the man and strike the ball. In three, two, one, go. So now I've implemented a move left to right. So start it off, we're getting our body position. Once you get your body position, then you can start to move your feet. Move left, right, forwards, backwards. So this time, we're gonna bring in another cone. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it just in the middle of the two cones you're working on. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, if it's the wall, Maybe one cone step back, and if not, you can ask your partner to take a couple of steps back. So, try to keep a back. There. so what you're going to do now is, if you have the ball in your hand, every time you have the ball here, if your partner has the ball, or you're striking off the wall, you catch. You move back to the cone, and you move forward. Strike off the opposite hand. Take your ball back. Move back. Strike forward. Start to get your feet position moving. So when you get the ball, shuffle back. You move forward. Strike. Touch. Move forward. And strike. Just remember when you come into the middle, that you're constantly directing your shoulder towards the man. So over to the right. Strike off the left and then over to the left, strike off the right. So for one minute, we're gonna go. For one minute, three, two, one. And down. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go back to the start, because your heart rate's up slightly. We're gonna go straight back into the first exercise. So just get in your body position, strike, get the shoulder facing towards the man. So if it's a wall, strike and head height, hit the wall, nice and hard. Three, two, one, go.
Sunai, the heart rate's back. Trying to normal. Bit of recovery. We're going to go back in the shuffle on this side. So out to the yellow. Strike. Get your shoulder pointing towards the man. Strike the ball. Shuffle across. And use the other side. Three, two, one. And I, so you can get your breath back, you can get a drink. So get your drink. Just remember that every time you strike the ball, you're trying to get the ball back into your hand. If you're using a wall, just make sure you hit the ball nice and hard, a bit harder than normal, just so you can get the reactions and get the ball into your hand nice and quick. So what we're going to do is go back to the third drill, and we're going to just repeat it again. Go out to the ball, shuffle back, strike off your opposite side. So remember, get your shoulder pointing towards your man. Three, two, one. That's good work. Just when you start getting tired, just keep remembering, focus on the, the coaching points. Keep around the ball, strike the ball nice and hard. Aim your shoulder towards the man. And always keep your head up. When you have possession of the ball, just keep your head up. Always look where you're going. So we're going to run into the last, last set of the strike. So while you're getting your breath back, we'll go back into striking against the wall for a partner. Simple strike. Remember, keep your shoulder pointing towards the on. Go.
as you can see, when you start getting tired, the ball starts to drop and the quality gets worse. So just remember, concentrate. When you don't have the ball, you're always watching where it is. Keep around the ball and try and stay as relaxed as possible with your head up. We're gonna go again, we're gonna work. Work by shuffling across. The last two, last two exercises for this skill. So get ready. Shuffle across. That's super work. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into the last drill. This is where you make the quality really good. I want you to do this. Just try and move as quick your feet for the last set do as quick as possible so you're going to speed it up but make sure that you keep the quality going be sure that if you're if you have the ball in your hand your head's up and when you get to the cone you point your shoulder towards your mat 10 seconds and then we go three two one Down. So now we have third skill. It's key that when you're doing it, you can start off slow, but just make sure when you're hitting the ball off the wall that it's hard to make yourself work. You work on your reactions and the work on the speed of the pass. So get your head up, point your shoulder towards your man. And these kind of skills you work on when you're working the ball off the wall or hitting the ball with a with a friend or with a brother and sister. Or Mother or father, so just make sure you do it good and it'll benefit your strike. So, come on. So, that's the end of the session. And um, although the skills are very basic, we still do them with Antrim. So, get out the back, keep on practicing. Stand.